Twas the week before Christmas. It takes guts and good luck to pull off an armored car robbery and Walter and Eddie have both. But getting the money and getting away with it are two different things, especially with the blizzard coming down, the cops in hot pursuit, double crossing gambler and a sadistic park ranger threatening to turn this white Christmas blood red. Greetings YouTube, it's your boy Adub, and on today's video we are gonna be reviewing Easy Death by Daniel Boyd and I'm gonna be bringing you my book review. This is my first book review in a series that I'm gonna be doing and I've kind of developed a format and I'm gonna break it down. All right, the reason I picked this book is because it does happen during the Christmas season. It actually happens on December 20th. So I thought that would be perfect for my 12 days of YouTube challenge for today. Published in 2014, set in 1951. This book follows Walter and Eddie and they are a duo that are trying to rob an armored car. And meanwhile, a blizzard starting and several different things are happening that are kind of impeding them. So the question is, will they get away and will they survive to tell the tale? So when it comes to the book, you know, what worked, what didn't work, I think actually the, everything in this book worked very well. The pace was good. It kept you reading. It kept you exciting. But one thing it did do is it's written in a style where each chapter starts with a time, a place, and then the narrator who's going to be, you know, the point of view for this chapter and they're not always in chronological order. I got the book, so I'll just give you an example. So chapter 16, 90 minutes after the robbery, and then it'll go on to say December 20th, 1951, 11.30 a.m., Slimmy. So that'll tell you basically what time it is, what's going on, and what, um, you know, whose perspective it is. I like the book being written in this style because it allows uh, the suspense to kind of build and it allows you as the reader to start piecing together the information but not having the whole story. The book does jump around a little bit but not enough to where it's confusing or frustrating or hard to follow. It does it just enough, like I said, to kind of build the suspense. And then I would say the last third of the book is all from one perspective and it's all chronological orders. So also what I'm gonna do with my reviews is kind of compare things to the movies. I feel like movies are a lot easier to digest. So if this book, Easy Death, were a movie, I would say Reservoir Dogs, style but set in the 50s and set outside in a blizzard but think that kind of a suspense that kind of chain of events that kind of um they're trying to pull off a heist what's going to happen what more can go wrong so walter and eddie the main characters if they were going to be played by anyone i was actually thinking michael clark duncan and bruce willis think about them in the whole nine yards when they had that buddy relationship and they were kind of working together that vibe is sort of what I get from Walter and Eddie. So that, that's who I kind of pictured. Now to the ending. I think the book has a satisfying ending. It is like plausible, it's realistic, but it's also exciting and fun. Some of these Pulp Fiction books that we might read take things very far and, and I get it, you know, it's entertainment. So that's cool to, you know, go off. But sometimes when the writing style or the story is, is very detailed and very realistic, I want the ending to kind of match that. All right, so now it's time to break it down by my four categories and give this an overall rating. We have four different categories, action, intrigue, storytelling, and then the A-dub score, which is basically just my enjoyment. I rank each of those out of five for a total grand score of whatever out of 20. I have action out of four. There's a lot of action in it and the action is pretty continual. You know, you're jumping back and forth, but there's always something going on. The intrigue, I would have to say a 3.5 now. Intrigue, I kind of, you know, Sometimes for these hard case crime books, I add a little bit of sexiness factor into there. Or this book didn't have any of that. There was too much other things going on for any type of romance or you know, for the guy to get the girl type of thing. So I put it down a little bit lower on this intrigue, but the undercurrent of the book was very suspenseful. So I have to give it some points for that. Storytelling, I gave it a four and a half um, out of five on the storytelling. I think it was really well done. Like I said, the way that the book builds it up um, by going back and forth and kind of slowly reveals the story. So with that being said, the A-dub score, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Very enjoyable book. It kept my interest, it kept me reading. And I liked uh, I liked the story and I liked the Christmas background of it. So that brings it to a final score of 15.5 out of 20. So very solid rating. I definitely recommend this book. We'll have the links to buy this book on Amazon and then also um, to buy it secondhand if you'd like. You know, I love to be able to spread the word to support these authors and also to support um, the publisher as well. A little bit more about the publisher themselves. Hard Case Crime is a publishing label that puts out 
uh, pulp fiction, crime, noir type style books. And I fell in love with their books um, after picking up a few on the Barnes and Noble table. Honestly, what drew me to them was the old style cover art. Um, and they always have like a pinup or like a sexy girl on them. And they just look very old school. Um, like uh, over time I picked up some, I liked them. And then it wasn't long until I decided, you know what, I just wanna have them all. Like I wanna see how many are there and what can I get into. And uh, the pandemic really accelerated that, giving me a lot more time to read. All right, so to date, based on my unofficial count, there's 139 hard case crime books. I think there's four more that are slated to come out in 2023. And I have a copy of all of the ones that are published, so all 139. Out of those total 139, I have read 100 so far, but my goal is to finish reading all of them and then to make a YouTube channel dedicated to reviewing the hard case crime books and basically just documenting my thoughts on all of the books. So that's something I'm gonna be working on for the next year and I'm really excited about. Appreciate you checking out the video and I do encourage you to take some time to read during this holiday season. I think that a book can really has the power to change your life if, if you know the right book might hit you at the right time and and uh, reading is just you know become really really a big thing for me. And also my prompt for today is um, what's your favorite book and why? Um, if you would be willing to share that, that would be super cool. And um, look forward to more book reviews coming next year, more hard case crime. And until next time, they dub out.